Hey friends, Ryan the Stranger with the Monday Word, and my Monday Word for you is the tension may be a sign of enlargement. You know, a lot of times when we get in a situation where something that was working stops working, or something that was not irritating us begins to irritate us, we think it's automatically a demon. So we go to binding everything up, resisting everything, casting everything out. That's what I do anyways, and I know a lot of you do it. But in reality, it may be a sign of enlargement. Isaiah 54, 2 said, enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch out the curtains of your dwelling, spare not, lengthen your court, and strengthen your pace. I believe God is stretching you to prepare you to occupy new places in this upcoming season. And the pain, the tension, it may be a sign of enlargement. When you outgrow a season, you often become frustrated because you're no longer satisfied by what previously satisfied you. Sometimes we outgrow relationships. I'm, I, I'm not preaching that, you know, we just should forget everybody and I'm moving on, see you later. I'm blocked. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Sometimes we do have to just move on from toxic people. But what I'm saying is sometimes there's a relationship that was very potent and powerful to bring us to a certain place and then that person doesn't want to go with us. And there begins to be tension and we get frustrated and it can be very painful. But when you pause and realize God is originating the tension. Sometimes we come to a certain place of blessing and, and we were so happy and we were so fulfilled and now we find ourselves saying, God, I know there's something greater. I'm frustrated. I'm, I'm irritated. It, it can be a sign of a stretching and I want to present to you the possibility God might be preparing you for something greater and that could be the source of the frustration. So instead of just automatically saying, this is a bad thing. This is something that's horrible. This is something that's collapsed calamitous, something that's awful. Maybe, just maybe, God has brought you to a place of growth that you're no longer satisfied with where you're at. Because let me tell you something, I've never moved into something new till I became dissatisfied with where I was. And I believe God is breeding in people right now a holy frustration to say, I've outgrown this space. I've outgrown this level. I was telling my wife the other day, I said, you know, I don't even think the way I used to think. Why? Because I've grown. The Bible says we go from glory to glory and faith to faith. I'm not going to stay the same. As I'm coming into a new year, I refuse to think the same, live the same, preach the same, pray the same, relate to people the same. I'm moving up. And the only people that are permitted to go with me are those that are going to go up. Those that want to stay, they're going to have to stay. Situations that want to stay, they're going to have to stay. Doesn't mean I don't love you any less, but what it does mean is I've outgrown this place and I'm moving. If you want to stay with me, you got to move with me. And I give you permission today to say goodbye to some things. Say goodbye to some old seasons, some old thought patterns, some old processes, even some old relationships because sometimes when your mind is all messed up, you connect to people out of pain and not purpose. And God starts cutting that pain and you no longer feel connected because the only thing that bound you together was pain. And sometimes when you outgrow the pain, you outgrow the people who are associated with the pain. So Father, I pray today for enlargement. I pray today for expansion. I pray today for growth in thinking, growth in movement, growth in uh, every area of their lives. Lord, I thank you that that tension, that divine stretch is evidence you've got something bigger for your people. And I give you glory and honor for it in Jesus' name, amen.